roses red and violets looking blue like me, so poetic. My name's Jake. And I'm from Cranston, Rhode Island, East Coast boy. To think I ever thought you'd be. I started in music uh, at around three years old. My mom's a piano teacher, music teacher for elementary schools. And um, she had me taking piano lessons, but then I gave her a hard time. And then uh, she let me take drum lessons. And then I went over to guitar. So I got a bass knowledge um, all the way up until 14 years old. And then at 14, I started making beats on my computer. And that's how I started writing music. Growing up, I actually grew up in church because my dad's a pastor, and um, I was on stage a lot. Sometimes I would play the piano, and I know my mom would force me up there with my brother. We'd do duets. Um, but yeah, growing up in the church, one of the biggest influences was um, just contemporary worship music it has very simple chord structures, and you know, you're on there, you're understanding bridge, the chorus, the verse, you know what all of those feel like. And so now when I make music, um, it really just connects to that spot and it taught me a lot actually. I grew up listening to a lot of Christian music but then I kind of uh, you know secretly had my brother's iPod and I would listen to Kanye West he's a huge inspiration of mine um, Drake you know I'm showing my age now I'm 21 these are my my heroes but um, yeah I, I listen to all sorts of um, you know, different rappers growing up, and that's when I really fell in love with music. But um, now with my latest album, I've been able to show a little bit of that inspiration from hip hop side. Um, but yeah, the pop side, a lot of it came from worship music. Trying to improve as a songwriter for me is the most important thing. I just want to keep getting better. And you know, no one's born an amazing songwriter. And so you gotta work at it. And so for me, the way that I usually start music is by trying to capture a feeling, an emotion. For me, it's all about the melody mixed with the harmony. And then, you know, the cherry on top is the great lyric. So as long as it has that feeling, you know, then when I get into the studio, I have that feeling in my heart and then I just pour it out until it feels right. I try not to box myself into any, you know, genre, style, or instrumentation because, you know, music doesn't have to be boxed in. It can be whatever you want it to be. And so I've heard this saying going around um, that you have your entire life to write your first album. And it's so true. Um, my new album, This Is What Blank Feels Like, you know, I, I felt that I needed to draw inspiration from the most impactful time in my life, which was my first relationship and breakup. And, um, you know, there were so many songs that are birthed out of that whole experience. You know, I wanted to tell the story and I wanted people to go along for the journey and I wanted people to be able to relate too. And so um, I tried to break it down into the four stages from falling in love to heartbreak to sadness to then eventually falling out of love. And for me, it was, it was meant to be more of an experience than just, you know, a one-time album thing. It's a blessing to be where I am right now. I'm just a guy who loves music and, you know, I just want to share it with the world. And, you know, you can ask all my friends, like my favorite thing is just to be in the studio and then to see people's reactions. And so for me, you know, I'm really excited to get out there and tour and, you know, see people singing my music and, and you know, experiencing it along with me. Um, but, but for me, you know, my main focus is just to, to keep making amazing music and I feel, you know, it's easy to get lost in everything that's going on, but, you know, I have to come back to my roots and stay focused on what matters. And so, you know, that's, that's how I'm always going to be and hopefully, you know, the music will kind of shine through that. So